So in light of recent events, and in light of the fact that we're still like living through a pandemic, and if you live in Wisconsin like I do, it's cold, and it's been cold for a while, and it's snowy, and it's been snowy for a while, and it's gray, and it's been gray for a while, and it's gonna be gray for a long while yet. Um, in light of all of this stuff, I thought maybe I would start a new series focusing on self-care. I was doing the Mindfulness Moment series, just kind of talking out loud to the camera and posting it on the Facebooks. So <laughs> I think this time around, I want to post something with more intentionality and I want to start a spiritual self-care series. One, because I think we probably all need it and I will readily admit that I need to focus more on self-care during this season to remember things that I've learned in my own journey, but also to th think through new things that I still need to learn in this journey. So for today, I thought I would share with you something a mentor of mine passed on to me years ago that has been tremendously helpful, and I, especially this week with all the stuff and all the tension that's going on, um, all of the, the bickering and debating on social media and elsewhere. So this mentor of mine, he's a priest in Milwaukee, and right before I was ordained to the priesthood, he asked if I would be willing to go out and have a beer with him. He wanted to buy me a beer before I was ordained um, because he wasn't going to be able to make it um, to the service, my ordination service. So we met halfway between where I was and between Milwaukee. And I remember him walking into the bar. He ordered his beer and came and sat down at the table next to me or across from me. And he just rolled his eyes. He's like, are you sure you're really ready for this priesthood thing? I'm like, oh, no. Like, are you, are you going to dissuade me now? <laughs> What's going on? And he said he had spent that morning, that whole morning, negotiating a very intense, heated uh, fight between two of the oldest women in his parish. And I asked him, well, what, what were they fighting about? He said, don't laugh. I'm dead serious. It was over a plant. So one of these ladies, she had brought in a plant without it asking anybody and had put it in a space of the church that was heavily trafficked. And the other woman she was either in charge of beautifying that space or thought she was in charge. <laughs> either way, she was upset and offended that her permission was not asked before that plant was placed where it was. And so the fighting and the debating ensued. Well, eventually it got bad enough where the priest had to call these women into his office. And that was that morning that he did that. And he tried to figure out, okay, like, why is this such a thing? Like, why are they so mad? Um, what's going on here? Why, why did this woman bring a random plant to the church to begin with? And why is this other woman so upset and offended that this actually happened? So he's seeking to get to the bottom of it, but like these women, the more he pressed for answers, the more they fought, the more they cried, the more heated it got. So eventually like he had to separate them. And he told one of them to go sit in the hallway. <laughs> I'll call you in here in a moment. I need to talk to this person first. Um, and so the first person that he talked to was the woman who had brought the plant in. And he asked her, you know, why did you do this? It's not like it's a big deal, but like what motivated you to bring the plant in? And can you understand why this other woman might be a bit upset? And she says, yeah, I understand why she would be upset. But here's the thing. I grew up in this church. I was baptized in this church. I was married in this church. I had a lifetime uh, friends in this church. I'm older. I'm one of the oldest people in this parish now. And the parish during that time was going through a huge revitalization. Young families, young faces, new faces coming in right and left. And she celebrated that. But she also lamented the fact that she was the only one of her generation really left. Her husband had passed away. Her kids have all moved away. Grandkids are on the other sides of the country. All of her friends who were in the parish are dead, you know. And she said, I can't do much because I'm so old. But I can tell you what I can do. I can bring a plant and I can water that plant every single week. It's the only thing I have left. It's the only thing that I have left to give is this stinking plant. <laughs> the priest understood then it wasn't about the plant, but the plant is going to stay because precisely because it wasn't about the plant. And he told the other woman who was waiting that the plant stays. And he told this whole story to me and he said, just remember when you're a priest, it's never about the plant. So when there's tension and there's fighting and there's animosity that breaks out in a congregation setting, look below the surface. There's always something deeper going on. It's never just about the plant. 
And I've been reflecting on that conversation a lot this week as people are very bitter, people are very heated. Those of us, including myself, who have been less vocal about things are getting more vocal about things. We're speaking from our convictions more because we feel like there's more on the line. But we have to remember the folks on the other side of the line. And we have to remember that we're all going through this hellish season. I mean, the pandemic is not over with. We're, we've got all of this social injustice stuff going on. We've got all this pandemic stuff going on. We've got all this political stuff going on. There's a lot going on. We need to give ourselves grace and we need to give grace to other people because remember, it's never just about the plant. Um, and a lot of folks are reacting so heatedly because there's deeper stuff going on. And whenever we react so heatedly, we need to examine, is there something deeper going on within me as well? Is it just about this political issue or is it about something more? Am I afraid? Am I feeling threatened? What is it? And perhaps we can locate that sense of humanness in those that we disagree with as well. Can we give them that grace? Do they feel threatened? Is there something else going on that they're going through that would cause them to react this way? And can we be charitable in how we have conversations with each other? Yeah, I thought I would just share that with you all because that was a meaningful conversation and I found that to be very helpful for me, not just as a priest in general, but just interacting with people that disagree with me and that I disagree with. It's never just about the plant.